Hello everyone, in this short video, we will see how to use the programming language R with eViews. To use the eViews external interface to R, you must have R installed on your computer. If you do not currently have R installed, simply go to the official R website and download the latest version of the programming language R. After installation of R, the first step is to verifying eViews R connector. For that, you can write rec components command in the command box and then press enter button. In the register component dialog, make sure that eViews R connector interface objects have been properly registered. And here we can see that eViews R connector interface is registered. If it is not registered, then click Yes All button to register these components on your local computer. The next step is to go to the external program interface dialog under Options, General Options, and then External Program Interface. Under R, we can see that we can make sure that eViews R connector is selected. Is selected. Next, if home path is blank, click here and then navigate your local R installation. Here, I you can see that I am using R 4.2.2 version. Then click OK. Now we are ready to use R programming. All external program interface methods must begin with command X open. So here we can write R because we are interested to open a connection of R with eViews and then press enter button. So this open up the connection with R. And here I am using strike dataset. So now we have an open connection to R. We can send eViews dataset to R using export command in eViews command window. So first we can write export. And then R type which is data frame and then the name of the data set we can use a stripe this is the name of the data set and then the variable here we have three variables feb, ip and num so we can write num IP and the last variable fab and then press interpret and we can see that the data set with uh, name strike is created successfully we can also send the data set without creating data frame export and then the name of the variables and fab so here you can see that these three variables are created successfully without a data frame. So next we can use the print command if you want to display the data set in R. For example, we can write here print and then the name of the data set strike and then press enter button. So here you can see that the data frame with three variables number of strike ip and the dummy variable february you may examine the characteristics for example summary statistics histogram line graph etc of individual variables for example 
write the commands in R for variable IP of strike dataset. Print summary and then the name of the variable which is IP and then press enter. So here we have a summary statistics minimum value of first quartile, median, mean, third quartile and maximum value. And similarly we can use, we can draw a histogram by this and the name of the variable IP or maybe we can use number of strike which is a dependent variable. So if you press enter then you can see this is the histogram of the variable number of strike. Similarly, you can find the summary statistics for the other variables. If you want to get back a data set from R in eViews, you can use xget command. For instance, let's say we want to create a new variable called low of number of strikes. To complete this, simply execute xget command in command window to transfer the data set from R to eViews. First, we can create a new variable, which is law of number of strike. This is the name of the variable. And then we can use find the log of the dependent variable number, number of strike, and then press enter. Now the new variable is created, which is a log of number of strike. So we want to transfer this new variable from r to e views here we, you can see that we don't have log of number of strikes so for that you can use the command xget and write the name of the variable which is log of number of strike and then press enter button and here you can see that the new variable is created successfully and this variable is transformed from R to eViews, which is here. Yeah, this procedure shows how you can integrate R with eViews. Thank you for watching this video.